So yeah, we're here at the Collins Hotel in um, Miami, Florida, Miami Beach. What's the address of this hotel? I don't know. 6600 Collins Avenue. Uh, me and Steve, we came down. And this is our last night here. And this is the room. Which the room in and of itself is a decent room. Um, but we have a really big problem. When we got in our room today, we seen the biggest cockroach that I've ever seen in my life. And when we saw him, he ran up under the bed. And me and Steve, see over there, was trying to find this cockroach to get him out the room. Uh, but the roach like literally disappeared. We couldn't find a roach at all. Um, so we did what any anybody else would do in this situation. We called the front desk and we told them the situation so they could either send someone up here to find and kill or get rid of this roach or they need to give us another room because considering the size of this bug and the fact that we, you know, are like uh, civilized individuals, we weren't going to sleep up in this room with that bug up in here knowing more than likely considering he was not under the bed, he was now on the bed. And the guy at the front desk, whose name is Byron, he works the night shift here, or at least he worked the night shift tonight, um, informed me that this is Florida, which I guess means that I suggest accept that because we're in Florida, that I have to subject myself to a room uh, that has giant bugs in it. Um, when I went on to inform him that I'm a paying customer and that it's his job to fix the problem, especially considering on their website, they state they provide a nice and clean environment or rooms. Um, and now that this bug was in this room, it is no longer considered clean. And just is, is a very immoral thing to do to try to subject people to stand in a room that has a huge bug in it this guy goes on to tell me again that this is florida and that he has no rooms available that they're all booked and that he can't swap us out a room and he's there by himself so he can't come up and get rid of the bug for us um the problem with that is he flat out lied and i'm going to show you why one minute we'll be right back oh there you go there you go he just went out he just went out look at that look at that Look at that. Hold up, let me. You might get on some gang shit. <laughs> That's the biggest cockroach I've ever seen in my life. That was what was in our room here at the Collins Hotel in Miami. Hey, you supply run that thing like off the bank. South Beach, I am. This what was in our room. This. Look how big that is. Like Joe, he's literally bigger than an inch. That was in the room. So this is our room. We're in room 229. As we go down, this is room 230. 230 is vacant. As we keep going down, this is room 231. 231 is vacant. Let's go down some more. What room is this? Oh, 232 is vacant. I'm not even going to go all the way down there. Technically, that's three rooms that we've already seen as vacant. Let's go down a little bit more. Okay, that's 230. We did that one. That's 229. That's our room. All right, so what do we got over here? Oh, look at that. 228 is vacant. All right, what else we got? 225 is vacant. What else we got? 224 vacant. 223. I can't tell about 223. Uh, 222 looks taken. And we're not up. Oh, the last one down there is vacant. So, my thing is this. Considering I am a paying customer, and considering you do as a company, or at least a representative of a company, you do have an obligation to your customers. Um, if nothing else, to at least uphold the stuff that your website states. The right thing for Byron to do would have been, if he couldn't come up and find this bug himself, the right thing for him to do would be to give us another room. 
his thing was all the rooms were booked, which I completely understand, which I doubt, but I completely understand. But here's the problem. If the check-in time here is at 2 or 4 or after after 2 o'clock, and he stated that he's seen on our reservation that we're checking out in the morning, and check out here is, I believe, at 11 o'clock, um, though we're checking out before 11 o'clock, and I told Byron that before I decide to sleep in this room with a giant bug that I will leave, even though it is very early in the morning right now, and I will go get another room before I sleep in this room, he still didn't have anything to offer me. But here's the thing. If the check-in is at 2 o'clock or 4 o'clock, and we're going to be leaving we're going to be leaving at 8 o'clock, but let's just say for, that we were leaving at 11 o'clock. You mean to tell me that it's not worth it to your customer, the one who's paying money on a strip on South Beach where there's a ton of other hotels competitively priced. And we picked this one. But you mean to tell me that you couldn't at least give us another room to comfort us considering we paid money and we could have checked out at 11 o'clock and you could have gotten the staff to clean both this room and the other room before check-in for whoever had that other room booked considering they're not here. And I just showed you all of those empty rooms. So yeah, my recommendation now is to never, ever, 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 ever come to the Collins Hotel. It's a decent room, but then again, this is Miami South Beach. There's a ton of decent rooms, a ton of different hotels, and they're all pretty much priced around the same thing. So the one thing that should make these hotels stick out is customer service. This one was horrible very horrible i don't recommend it anytime someone will tell you to sleep in a room with a giant bug as if you're supposed to for whatever reason be used to that or okay with it that's horrible horrible customer service i do not recommend it once again this is collins hotel miami south beach what's the address again 6600 collins. 6, collins and the guy that told me that name is byron peace